Good morning to our reputed HOD, Dr. Chitra Ma'am, and pleasant morning to one and all. We are from Davinci House. Do you know the only organ which develops from the two different individuals who are genetically different? That is mother and fetus. Yeah, that's right. It's the placenta, which is the functional connection between the mother and fetus by which the transport of gases, exchange of nu nutrients, and transport of antibi antibodies from mother to fetus takes place by which the fetal immunity develops. And placenta is also called as a temporary endocrine gland as it exists only during the period of pregnancy and secretes the number of hormones which are useful for maintaining the pregnancy and fetal development. Yeah, without a delay, let us drive, let us drive into the topic placenta. Here are our fellow Davinciers to make us more familiar with placenta. Placenta is a fetomaternal organ. Coming about the surfaces of the fet uh, placenta, mm -hmm. it has two surfaces. One is the fetal surface, two the maternal surface. The fetal surface is smooth and it provides the attachment for the umbilical cord. The maternal surface contains grooves which are more emphasized in this model. The grooves are due to the presence of cotyledons and it is uh, having elevated structures. The fetal surface is derived from chorion frondosum and the maternal surface is derived from decidua basalis. Structure of placenta. Structure of placenta is divided into two components. The first component is towards the maternal surface, it is known as basal plane. And the second component is towards the fetal surface, it is known as chorionic plane. Between the maternal surface, fetal surface, there is presence of stem villi. Stem villi is furtherly divided into three types. First one is primary stem villi, secondary stem villi, tertiary stem villi. Primary stem villi. The cytotropal blast which forms finger-like projections invades the tubercle at its center. Now about the secondary stem villi. The extra embryonic somatopluric mesoderm present which is lying deep to the cytotropoblast forms three layers. The first one is mesoderm and the second one is cytotropoblast and the third one is syncytiotropoblast. The tertiary stem villi, there is development of blood vessels like endothelial futal blood vessels. Attachment of the placenta. The normal attachment of the placenta in its upper uterine segments. The abnormal attachment of the placenta may extend completely or partially into the internal orifice. This is due to ab abnormal implantation of the blastocyst during initial stages of the pregnancy. There are four degrees of the placental previa. They are first degree, second degree, third degree, fourth degree. The first degree, the placenta does not extend into the internal orifice. Second degree, the placenta extends into the uh, internal orifice but does not cover it. Third degree, the placental edges covers the internal orifice. Fourth degree, the placenta totally covers the internal orifice which causes severe bleeding during parturition. Classification of placenta. Placenta is classified into three types based on shape, based on attachment of umbilical cord, based on distribution of umbilical arteries. Based on shape, it's divided into discoid, bidiscoidal, triangular, irregular, lobed, and circumvallid. Based on attachment of umbilical cord, it's divided into normal, paracentral, marginal, and velamentous. Based on distribution of umbilical arteries, it's divided into dispersed type, furcate type, and magistral type. Placenta functions. Placenta is a means of communication between the mother and fetus. It helps in the exchange of respiratory gases through the process of simple diffusion. It acts as a barrier to many bacteria and organisms. It is an endocrine organ and produces many hormones such as estrogen, progesterone, HCG and HPL. It helps in the transportation of substances like nutrients, carbohydrates, fats from the maternal blood to the fetal blood. It helps in the exchange of excretory substances and also the transmission of maternal antibodies. There are about zillion hormonal changes occurring in the female body due to the course of pregnancy, some of which being brought in by placenta. The first one being human chorionic gonadotropin. This is being produced by placenta and ovaries and is known to be bringing in vomiting and nausea sensation during the first trimester of the pregnancy. Second being human placental lactogen. This is known to be nourishing the young ones by eliciting the milk glands present in the breast.
The third one being estrogen. This brings in normal secondary sexual characters in the female and is highly essential to undergo a normal pregnancy. Fourth being progesterone is known to elicit the implantation of fertilized egg. This is being produced by placenta and ovaries. The maternal blood and the fetal blood is separated by a chorionic tissue. Hence, the human placenta is also called as hemochorial placenta. It consists of a placental membrane, also called as placental barrier, as it separates the maternal blood and the fetal blood. Across this membrane, exchange of gases, nutrients and waste products takes place. Constituents of placental barrier. It is made up of five layers. From maternal side to fetal side, it consists of since cytotropoblast, cytotropoblast, basement membrane of cytotropoblast, mesoderm, endothelium, and the basement membrane of fetal capillaries. In the early stages of pregnancy, the placental membrane is of 0.025 mm thick. But in the later stages of pregnancy, it becomes 0.002 mm thick to meet the growing demands and the nutrient requirements of the growing fetus. Anomalies of placenta. Congenital anomalies of placenta are of three types. First one is due to the abnormal adherence of chorionic cilia on the uterine wall. And the second one is due to the abnormal shape. And third one is due to the abnormal attachment of umbilical cord to the placenta. This one is due to the abnormal adherence of chorionic villi to the uterine wall. When the chorionic villi gets attached to the endometrium of the uterus, then it's called placenta accreta. When the chorionic villi penetrates through the whole thickness of the myometrium, then it's called placenta increta. When the chorionic villi penetrate the full thickness of the myometrium and both perimetrium, then it's called placenta percreta. And the second one is abnormal site of attachment of umbilical cord. Normally, the umbilical cord is attached to the center of the placenta or 3 cm from the center of placenta on the fetal side. In case of abnormality, the umbilical cord can be attached to the margin of the placenta. In such case, the placenta is called marginal placenta. And if the umbilical, the blood vessels of the umbilical cord get divided before it reaches the placenta, then it's called furcate placenta. And when the umbilical cord gets diverted, as it travels to the chorion and amnion before reaching the placenta, such placenta is, is called velamentous placenta. In the case of anomalies due to the abnormal shape, when the placenta appears as bilob, bilob then it's called bilobed or bidescoidal placenta. If it appears as more than two lobes, then it is called multilobular placenta. In the case of placenta succinturiata, a small portion of the placenta gets separated from the major part, but it gets connected with the blood vessels and the placental membrane. In the case of diffuse placenta, the placenta is thin and it is not in a disc shape. And in the case of placenta fenestrata, a hole is present in the placental disc. And in the case of circumvalid placenta, the placental membrane gets folded in its edges and it can lead to the premature uh, parturition and also uh, can lead to neonatal death and the other case is due to abnormal site of implantation in uh, normal case the blastosis get attached to the upper part of the posterior wall of the uterus but in this case the blastosis attached to the lower part near to the internal orifice the placenta which develops is called placenta previa today as proud and grateful students to express our heartfelt thanks to all those who made this event happen. Especially Dr. Chitra Ma'am and the rest of the Department of Anatomy. We are blessed to be a part of this event. Thank, Thank you. you.